Hi everyone, I'm Julie. Welcome to Big Sky Beauty. I've got something a little bit different for Sunday side-by-sides for you today, and I'm sorry this is late uploading, but you know, my daughter's going away and it's just been really crazy. So what I've got planned for you today was I have been getting so many requests about the sleek palettes and getting swatches and stuff like that. I mean, I had mentioned in my last video that I would, was going to do a short video swatching them for you, but then I just got an overwhelming amount of people asking about sleek. So I thought that I would show you all. And in comparison or in or correlation to the side-by-side -side Sundays, I figured I would show you some of, pardon me, some of my sleek palettes uh, in comparison or a side-by-side -side, to a bunch of my other shadows, if you know what I mean. So you'd be able to get a comparison with colors, um, size of the palettes, and, you know, stuff like that. So I've got all of my eyeshadows, well, not all of them, because I don't even have enough room in here, but I have got a significant amount of my eyeshadows laying out. I have went through everything that I have here at home. So, first of all, let me just say that when it comes to... Um, I, okay, I'm not really too concerned about what is in, what you know, the ingredients in makeup. Now, normally in a side-by-side, -side, I would research the ingredients and tell you what's going to be better, you know, all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to makeup, the only things that I'm really concerned with when it comes to ingredients is obviously foundation. That's my biggest, you know, my biggest thing. I don't want to be... Well, not only because of my age, but you want to know what you're going to be caking and setting into your face. You know what I mean? But when it comes to eyeshadows, particularly eyeshadows, I really don't care what they're made out of as long as they don't irritate my eyes. I don't, they're not in a big enough area. Um, you know, I just, I'm not really concerned with the ingredients. And so, as far as the palettes, I think I might have mentioned in some of my comments, a lot of the Silique palettes, um, are supposedly not be able to be shipped to America, although they've always shipped mine. <laughs> so I don't know. I, the very first order I made, I ordered a bunch of the eyeshadow palettes, and it had been like a month, and I hadn't gotten them yet. And I emailed them, and I hadn't heard from them, and I was starting to get really worried. So I was looking over the website, and I saw on a lot of the palettes they have, in the ingredients, it says, or in the uh, description, it says this product cannot ship to America. And I thought... What the heck? That's why I haven't gotten it yet. Am I getting ripped off? It's not back on my card, you know. But they ended up coming. I mean, and I'm glad they did because I emailed Sleek and they never got back to me. And I've never had a problem with the company, don't get me wrong. But it is coming from the UK, so it can take anywhere from a week and a half to a month and a half. It just depends on what um, your particular order, it, you know, what shipment your order is going out on. So with that in mind, um, I just wanted to let you know that when it comes to eyeshadows, the only two things that I'm concerned about is its wear, obviously, how it's going to wear throughout the day, pigmentation and consistency. That's my only concerns. I don't really care what it has in it, um, you know, as long as it's not got something in it that's going to burn my eyelids like sugar pills do for some reason. Anyway, so let me get started. I've got all of these out, and I've got the best comparisons that I could find. There's some that obviously aren't going to be any kind of an exact, but, you know, you get a, a idea a little bit anyways. So I'm going to start with... Um, one of the newest ones, it is the newest one that they just put out, and it is the Garden of Eden palette. Okay, and that's the palette, and all of their palettes come with these long sponge tip applicators. It's kind of bizarro. Um, some of them come with a little paper telling you what the na names of the products or your names of the colors are, but some of them don't. It's kind of weird. <laughs> some do and some don't. Um, and then what I'm going to compare this one to today is the only other thing that I have that I could find. It was the only other thing that I could find with some of the same colors. Well, and then I've got my MAC palette that's got a couple um, mug shadows in it. But So I'm going to be comparing with the Tarte. You can see they're kind of similar. And this is one of the little kits that came in the, um, I don't know, one of the Christmas kits. You know, I'm not sure which one. And then I'm going to be comparing also just a few shadows out of my MAC palette. I've got uh, a couple of my mug shadows in here, but these are all MAC. They're all matte as well. 
as in matte, M-A-T-T-E. They're all matte shadows. So I'm just going to be comparing a few of those with some of these things. Now, as you can see, where is my regular? Well, I'll just hold this up. Okay, here are the regular size shadows. Okay, these are your average size pan that you're going to get anytime you order from, um, you know, Makeup Geek, MAC, Coastal Scents. Um, they variate the slightest bit, the slightest bit, but not, um, I think the, the um, quantity of product is still there. It's just the pan that's a little bit different. And these are the size of the uh, sleek shadows. So you see, they're probably, I would say probably about half of the product is what you're getting. Okay? So they're about half the size of the pan. They're kind of much like the the big 88 pals that you get. They're about the size of those. All right, so I'm not going to name the colors on these just because it'll take too long. So I'm going to swatch a few of these for you that I've got some kind of a comparison here. Okay, so here is a really pretty brownish looking one. And then uh, let's see. We've got a green here, pretty green. And then we've got kind of an iridescent green right, yeah, here we go, right here. And then, uh, let's see, let's go for a matte one. And let's do this light, no, yeah, because that's about the only, because I don't have any comparable dark green ones. So let's go with this light green right here, okay? So those are the um, sleek colors. Go, Jess! <laughs> okay, now I'm going to be very careful to not smudge those too bad. And then in my MAC um, uh, metallic palette, well, it's got a few frosts in it too. But I'm going to take, again, a green. And then, let's see, um, that would be it with the metallic that I can do out of that one. Okay, I know this is complicated, isn't it? And then I'm going to take this green out of the Tarte palette. And then I'm going to take this brown. Okay. And that's about, uh, let me see. Well, you'll get an idea anyways. Okay, the colors are similar enough. This one's sleek, this one's Tarte and MAC. So basically what I'm trying to show you is that the color payoff is not only absolutely there, but even in a few of them, it's better. <laughs> it really is. Uh, these are such beautiful shadows, and they do blend out. I would not lead you astray. These shadows blend out every bit as beautiful as um, many of my high-end palettes. There is no problem there. So I'm not even going to talk about how they blend out because it's excellent. It's just excellent. Um, the very first sleek palette that I ordered was from Amazon, and it was the um, acid one. No, it was two of them. It was the acid and uh, sunset palette. Because I wanted them um, all matte. No, it was the matte V in the sunset palette because I wanted their matte shadows and their, you know, range of different finishes. And I got that with these palettes. So, let me find... Oh, here it is. Okay, here is the sunset palette. You see that gorgeousness? Is that crazy or what? Aha! Love it! Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is dipping out of my MAC um, metallic and different finishes palette. And you can see a lot of the colors are the same. Okay? So, let's see. Let's go into this one here. I've got a similar one like this down there. And then I've got a similar one like this down there. I've got one almost exactly like that. And then let's just go for a good uh, neutral here. Okay? So those are the sleek colors. All right? Now let's go for this orange one again. Um, I think we did one of the uh, maroon one. And then we did a light colored one. Let's do that other one. And then um, let's see... An orangey one, I think we got there, yeah. Okay. Now, this is MAC. And this is Sleek. My swatches are a little smaller on the Sleek hand because the pans are smaller. So, as you can see, the color is absolutely there. There's zero problem with pigmentation. Um, you can also see on my fingertips that 
there is more fallout and, you know, they're not fallout, but there's more um, product built up on my fingertips than there is on the sleek side. And that's what you get with your, you know, when you stick your brush in it too. Um, I have found that with a lot of my sleek palettes, they kick up a lot less dust with just as good a payoff as my MAC shadows do. Yeah. And now when it comes to Urban Decay, that's a whole different arena because we all know Urban Decay, Decay shadows kick up a lot of crud. Okay, so we're going to go with my Book of Shadows, which I never use. I'm actually thinking about, um, well, I don't know, I should probably just depot it. Maybe depot it and put it in a little custom-made palette and send it to somebody because I never use these. <laughs> okay, and this is the Acid Palette. Now the reason why I picked this is because there are several colors in there that are identical with the frosts that are identical to in here. So in the um, acid palette I am going to pick well I'm gonna do this blue right here okay I'm just gonna do a straight side by side with the two blues okay look at those two blues this one my pinky is sleek and the other one is urban decay do you see the do you, th do you see the chunks on my finger from the urban decay Whereas the sleek, that's not there. And I was pressing every bit as hard. Um, I <laughs> These are just such good quality, you guys. Um, I, I have never been disappointed with anything that I've ever gotten from sleek. I do not have any of my... Um, I actually don't have any of my dang blush palettes here. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So let's try a few mattes, okay? So this is the Ultra Mattes palette. And these two here, the Ultra Mattes and the Acid Palette, are two palettes that supposedly aren't supposed to be shipped to America, but I have them, and they came straight from Sleek. So this is the Ultra Matte V1 palette, okay, and it's just got your primaries, oops, your primaries and a few, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm going to Sleek, um, I am um, swatching all Sleek now, okay, so I'm going to go with the white and then let's say a pink okay a pink and then let's go with this cherry red down here because I have one of these in matte Mac and then let's go with a green okay so there are the sleek colors that I just swatched and here is Mac this is my little highlighting palette that I have okay so I'm swatching out of that and then I'm going to take because I don't really have anything comparative that is a light pink so I'm gonna swatch Too Faced's Romance palette okay just so that you get an idea of the color so I'm gonna swatch that pink okay. this is Mac except for the middle finger and that one is uh, the Too Faced out of the um, Romance palette so my middle finger is Too Faced and the, all the other colors are MAC. Okay, do you see how do you see how flaky that green is? And then these are the sleek colors. Okay, so there you go side by side kind of, I guess. Um I guess the point that I'm trying to make you guys uh, because I wanted to give you a side by side, but this is really difficult with only two hands. <laughs> I've never been disappointed with anything that I have ever gotten from Sleek. I am so happy with, you know, with their products that um, I've went back and repurchased and repurchased and repurchased, you know. Now, I did want to show you the Oh So Sweet palette. This is the one that they have always had, but somewhere I missed it in my, um, in my big Sleek palette haul that I hauled a long time ago. I missed this palette, so I wanted to show you it because it is so pretty. Look at those colors. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, I, and by the way, I am wearing, um, where is it? These are the two palettes that I have on my eyes today. You can tell that, okay? So let's go into one of these peachy colors or lore, uh, coral colors. I love, love, love these. You can see a definite difference between those colors. And then this is just your, um, you know, uh, cream color be a beautiful color for highlight and then um, let's go into one of your pretty f metallics there 
Are you being able to see those? It's sunny and bright out there again today. But, oh, they're just so beautiful. And then let's try this gray one down here. This gray one, this one, and then let's do the black. Because they, put, they have a black in almost all of their palettes. You get a black. So, you know, you could use it as a liner or, you know, what have you. But they give you a black in almost all of them, which is really cool. Um, okay, now I wanted to show you, this is the Acid Palette, okay? I wanted to show you some of these colors, you guys. Now, as you can see, I have dug into these. I have used these quite a bit in doing, um, like, Halloween looks and stuff like that. And so, <laughs> yeah. Um, and let's see, yellow. Yellow's not always the easiest. Look at those colors. Put them on my thumb, too. Um, let's see. This one is almost identical to Dirty Martini from Mug. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous um, products, you guys. I, I really can't say enough about them. And, you know, they also have, and I haven't seen many people show this, they also have a um, primer palette. And it looks like this. Oh, Julie. It looks like that. Um, it's just a whole bunch of different color primers. They're very thick, like a paint pot almost. But they've got great color payoff, and they work beautifully as a primer. Every bit as good as the color tattoos, as MAC paint pots. Um, you know, every bit as good as any of those other high and low end and again, this has cost the same as all the other palettes, which are always $11.99 as their regular price. And um, sometimes they're on sale for, you know, so I've seen them on sale for $7.99 when they've had big blowouts, you know, around the holidays and stuff. I've seen them from $7.99 all the way up to their regular price of $11.99. Now, you can get these um, through Amazon. Um, I have ordered them through Amazon a few times thinking that I was bypassing the whole month-long wait because of coming from the UK. And I don't think that these people, that I'm getting them through Amazon, even though, for instance, RM, uh, RM Cosmetics Company, they sell sleek products, but it takes you just as long to get them. And they come in an actual sleek packaging, you know, shipment packaging. So I think what's happening is... They are just like the middleman. You know what I mean? I'm not sure. I think they're just the middleman. They might get some kind of a small cut out of it. I've always, it's always taken quite a while to get to me. <laughs> but I've never been ripped off. I've never been, I've never ever been disappointed. Um, I've always been more than happy with everything that I've ever gotten. And um, I've just had a lot of you questioning me about my sleek stuff. So I wanted to show you all. I'm hoping that I can get this video down into a respectable amount of time. Um, and I hope, hope, hope that I was able to show you guys, you know, what I wanted to convey to you. You know, color payoff are excellent with these products. I just can't say enough about them. No, I have no affiliation with Sleek. In fact, I have never known anybody, I've never run across anybody on YouTube that has ever affiliated with them or what had a sponsor video by Sleek. It's like they stand alone. Um, they don't have to peddle their wares off onto anybody to to present for them because, you know, they're, they, it, the product stands by itself. So, and then, of course, as you can see, in all the compacts, they have this great big mirror here. And they are nice and small and, just like the name says, they're sleek. Um, all of their compacts, blushes, all of them are really nice and slender and uh, hard plastic. I have never had a problem with anything that I've gotten except for the amount of time that you got to wait for it. So if you want to make an order and you need it like in a week, don't count on it because it's not... Sleek will also charge you extra, it's like an extra five bucks to track your orders. And I would highly suggest you do that. Just because of the fact that it's coming from the UK, you want that five dollar insurance, you know, to... Uh, to make sure that you can track it in case it gets lost in customs or something, you know, you want to you want to take that five dollars and and spend it. I think it's money well spent. I hope that this was a little bit helpful for all of you that have been requesting to see, you know, my sleek um, stuff. I wanted to be able to show you guys how good this product is while at the same time showing you a little bit of um, swatches, you know. If you guys would like me to swatch the sleek palettes that I have here at home, and like I said before, just do a quick, um, you know, a quick, like a three minute swatches where I just line my arms and hold the palette up and you can see what the colors look like. 
you know, color payoff and all that, I will do that for you. I have no problem with that. But And I am going to get out of here because I am editing my channel trailer. I love you all so much. If you have not subscribed, I hope you do. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.